Good morning guys and welcome to iPunt Smart. Racing comes to us from Ball Classic today. And we have a green in the first rolling with the punches. Um, but I do have a little bit of a worry about a horse La Philly at 8.5 carrying only 52 kilos. If you look at the 31st of December run when he ran fourth carrying 60 kilos, 5.25 behind. Uh, Bella Chica was one on that day, carrying 53 and a half. So there's 5.3 lengths behind the two. The difference being that Bella Chica is carrying one and a half kilos more and La Philly is carrying eight kilos less. So that's nine and a half kilos for a 5.3 lengths beating over a thousand meters. So I do think La Philly, La Philly, can also definitely uh, upset the favorite Bella Chica. And then the other horse uh, rolling with the punches has beaten Bella Chica on the 17th of December. Um, and they're both on the exact same weight as on that day. There wasn't a lot in it, 0 0.75 lengths only. So it could most certainly um, be turned around. Interesting to note that Solomon's that was on Bella Chica that day uh, actually moved over to La Filet. So that is my uh, first three, eight, one, two, and three is uh, my top four choices. First timers, I can't say much about, um, so we'll have to watch the market for those. In the second, I've gone with Mr. Hugo as my first choice. Um, has some better back figures than the rest of the field here by four odd lengths. Best overall ranking, median speed and form as well. Um, and the top rated of 10 to uh, win does give the highest percentages, 38% to Alex the Great, the favorite. Um, now, Mr. Hugo is my first choice. Informative, the only runner for match it with Yanni on board, my second choice. Alex the Great, my third choice, and Afril, my fourth choice. And then the exact course and distance bat CD is quite a, a lot different on Alela Bleu, or three lengths better than Mr. Hugo. So I'm going to throw him in as well, although the algorithms are only throwing him in at number eight, um, as you can see on the, on the numbers there. In the third, my top rated here is Smiley River, River with the uh, Laman is only runner with uh, Schwartz taking the ride and he does have a little bit of leeway on the bats but not a whole lot. My second choice is the favorite ration, my passion. Uh, third choice, the sash. Fourth, little wood and fifth, so long spring. Um, I just want to add today, I do think that the exotics will be a carryover. That, uh, this, that's how I feel it is that hard. Um, today, so I do think that uh, it's probably the safest to be extremely cautioned today. Um, in the fourth, my top choice here is seven to one. Brad Weber and Robia the Rebel has the best overall ranking, best form, and uh, on the green bats, he has the best green bat. Um, green bat being within course, within distance, um, the 250 meters. Um, there is two red ones above him, Hello Happiness and Plum Field. But uh, from an each way perspective, Robbie the Rebel is maybe not a bad proposition. He's my first choice. Pomoshana's Pride is my second choice. Plum Field, Neven Hazen and Gates um, is my third choice. Four, two, and eleven. <coughs> then Afrat, Earthshaker. Sun Giant, Hello Happiness is the one that's got all the red bats here and he's an only runner for Joey Soma. So uh, if he likes the further distance, he could be competing at a nice 22 to 1 as well. But as I said, nothing standing out here today. In the fifth, my top rated is Sell High at 5 to 1. Um, my second choice is from Chatton, also red bats but three lengths better than the third choice here, Stormy Winter. Um, you can see how open it is by five favorites in this race. 
Our fourth choice is Nabroz, fifth choice Master Supreme, then Barak, just kidding in cash time, but monster of a race. Two, one, six, five, and four is uh, my choices here, but uh, it is extremely open. Three, ten, and nine added for the pick six. In the sixth race, good value on Burnt Jasper here at 14 to 1. Um, Burnt Jasper getting ahead on the T curve at 14 to 1, as well as the bum rolls here, bum curve, and almost all, almost also took the best bat 84. Only 0.05 lengths behind Uno Fundutua. And then uh, also Romeo's Magic is very close to the same bat. So you can see those three, 2.72, 2.73 and 2.67, is way ahead of the next one, which then goes into 10.5 territory. So 11, my first choice, Burnt Jasper. In the game, Brett Weber, my second choice, 12 to 1 overall ranking, looks nice, best exact distance, medium speed and form, exotic ranking and greeny points, so in the game, definitely worthwhile to also have a look at 12 to 1, Bunch Jasper, 14 to 1 first choice in the game, 12 to 1 second choice, Fundo Toi, 5 to 1, now the blink has been removed, Alamites only is my third choice, Romeo's Magic, the favourite, is my fourth choice choice um, 11 3 7 and 1 for the bipod and uh, pick 6 the if 11 3 7 1 doesn't win then it gets very open so maybe take a chance here 12 2 10 6 4 and 8 all in there after that um, and that would mean that we have a 30 to 1 turf master here we have a 22 to 1 piccadilly square here so uh, the pick six is going to be paying a, a lot today if anyone does catch it. In the seventh, me time looks pretty decent if me time can do the 1450. Um, purely because he hasn't done the 1450, his best he's gone to is 1200, but that last 774 was a really good bat, um, the best in the field on that run, and he's 334 on the 1200 vol was about five lengths better than the second best on trail here on the bat figures so me time at 16 to 1 is a, is a nice uh, little first choice for me um, my second choice is uh, Candice Dawson with Craig Zaki Banner Bridge my third choice Deccan and Lady the uh, stable mate for Corner Spice Samson's only for the day um, he has some much better bats in the past year and my fourth choice is Candice Dawson's stable, stable mate Stone Cold, the favourite. So I've got two Spices and two Dawson's in my first four choices. Um, five, ten, two, and six is in my PA. Um, and then the eleven and the eight is my next base contrail. And a short stop. I hope that those is enough for pick six in what will be a tough day. I've said that before, I guess. In the last, we again have Brett Weber as the top rated. So you can see Brett Weber has enough, a lot of nice runners today. He does have the best overall ranking. He does have the best bat curve. Um, he's my first choice. My second choice is After Hours. My third choice is Hottentots Holland um, at 16 to 1. My fourth choice is Master Builder at 10 to 1, and then Irrevocable Dream, the favourite, pops in as my fifth choice and needs to improve but can because he does have the best exact course and distance bats um, and he does come from a rest. So he can, um, he's not out of it to win, but he's only my fifth choice. Sixth Heart of a Legend, Bravo 1 in seventh for Sham. And Kapoma, the Weber coupling at 14 to 1 for 8. So there I'm going 3, 1, 13, 11, and 8 um, in my PA. And in my pick 6, I'm going 3, 1, 13, 11, and 8 as well um, in what will be by now a carryover, I believe. That's it from me, guys. Um, hope you have a great day. But please. Please do have some uh, 
discipline and do not try and play every race because you will get burned today.